Footbridges along Nelson Mandela Boulevard and Rhodes Drive in Cape Town have been renamed. New names include Father John Oliver, Tully Peterson, Ingrid Yonker and San leader David Kraper. We were divided. An historic occasion. Following a public participation process, the naming of the bridges was approved in June. The names reflect the country's diverse history and heritage. It's a very special day for the city. As part of Heritage Month, we are recognizing the different heritage, giving recognition to the different cultures, to the different people that contributed to building this beautiful city and our country. And so we have selected the seven unsung heroes um, to recognize them for their contribution to the freedom of our country today as part of Heritage Month. Talib Peterson, well-known composer, singer and director. His children sang one of his famous songs dedicated to the history of District 6. It will be nine years since his passing this year and we are so fearful that his legacy and his memory will be forgotten despite the extensive work and the amazing work that he's done for this country and I think it is so heartwarming to know that it, they're in cement and stone, literally cement and stone, his legacy will be honoured and his memory and have what he contributed to the metaphorical building of bridges to this country. Real dancers from Wuppertal paid tribute to Kamani San leader David Kreper. Kreper spoke for the rights of indigenous people at the UN in 1994 and led the way for a successful land claim for the San people in South Africa. By myself, I feel very happy and I feel very good. For myself, I'm very happy. It's for the memory of David Kreper, for the history of David Kreper, and for what he left behind. Van David Kreper, what after he lost, what he after he lost, for his nageslag. Aikunta was the first contributor to the Wilhelm Bleak and Lucy Lloyd archive of Kham and Kun texts. We're very happy. You know, this is the first time in history where they honor San people. We are on the coat of arms, but this is the first that I'm aware of. Ingrid Jonker, whose iconic poem, De Kint, was read out by former President Nelson Mandela during the opening of South Africa's first democratic parliament in 1994, was also honoured. Religious leaders Tuan Guru, Father John Oliver and Father Basil van Rensburg were also honoured. Berenice Moss, SABC News, Cape Town.